And then 23, a man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. And um, God has actually been talking to me quite a bit about the humble spirit and actually how you achieve humbleness. And one of the ways I talked about it at the very beginning um, is that identity of when you actually know who you are in Christ, you know that you're one big package of wonderful because he created you, right? In his image, he put you here and may, gave you all your gifts. He gave you your abilities, um, all of your strengths, all of everything that makes you unique. That's when you can show up and be humble because you know who you are. It gives you that space and that freedom to be able to stand back and to be last because you already, you don't have to fight for your place because you already know what your place is. You don't have to, uh, you know, Try to make yourself first because you know that in God's kingdom, you already are. You already know who you are. So that gives you room to stand back and treat and to be humble, to lift others up, to support others, to edify others in place of yourself, um, you know, to just to, to stand back and to, uh, to be to lead from behind, you know, pushing everybody else uphill, creating those other leaders. You know, building those other people so that you have those that, those other leaders. And then those other leaders, once they know who they are, you need to build those people up so that they know who they are. And when they know who they are, then they're free to make other leaders. It is a domino effect. And it literally takes knowing who you are to become humble. It sounds backwards, but that's but that is what's but it is exactly what it takes. It frees you to be humble. And uh, I actually think that's kind of mind blowing when you think about it. You don't have to strive. You don't have to try to place yourself first. Because you already are. You are God's kingdom. Last, don't have to get the last word in or any of that. <laughs> exactly. You just know. You're just like, mm. <laughs> you know that just that stuff just falls off you now you know and you, it it's a it's freedom it literally is when you can get to that place and it makes you different and it gives you that room to like i've said now like three times <laughs> it gives you that room to be humble who god created us to be and that's what humbleness is and how you achieve it. <laughs>